Alright, what is up guys? It is Tyler Nolan. Welcome to the freaking show. So today, pretty excited. Got this new sweet box here, filled with a bunch of goodies. Really excited about this. So, so I wonder what is in here and what we are doing this video on today. So I figured, since I have so many people all the time hit me up, they ask me where I get my tools from, what kind of snake hooks I use, what kind of tongs I have, tweezers, this, that, and the other thing. People ask all the time. And I always tell them, Midwest Hooks. Tongs.com is what I use. Great, great, great company. They just redid their website too. I was just checking it out this morning just to, uh, just to see a couple things. Website looks great. I'm gonna put the link down below. Go check out the new site. Super easy to use, especially on your phone, all the little yeah, it's great, super easy. So, let me show you my old hooks first. Go in here, my sweet little closet. Let's grab all my stuff here. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so this is what I'm working with already. I got a couple other hooks in there too, but those hooks are hooks that my friends have made me. Um, not as, this is, this is the piece these right here. So, these are old. Like, some of these tongs, dude, I've had them for 15 years. Especially this one. This is probably the first snake hook I ever got. I was 13 years old looking at, or working at Underground Reptiles when I got this, this snake right here. Or this snake hook right here. You can see it even still says, even still says Midwest on the bottom. You can you can still you could kind of read the phone number. The, the phone number is oh yeah 1877 US Tongs. I don't know if that's still their number that they use right now, but it's a pretty damn near 20 years ago. That's what it was, dude. This snake hook has been through everything. I mean you can tell that the anodizing on it has rubbed off a little bit. It's definitely got wear and tear from being in the field, lifting up rocks, lifting up wood. I use this for everything. This hook is not just for snakes, I use it for everything. Like I use it as a field hook too. Now they make field hooks. They did it back in the day when I got this. It was just a hook for everything. This snake hook has handled so many crazy, crazy animals. Like, dude, everything. Okay, this, this hook right here. This is the bee's knees. Awesome. Another one I have, I think this is the 40 inch <coughs> red hook. This hook is also 15 years old. Dude, they're durable. Dude, I've stepped on them, tried to bend them, knocked them over. You can even see, actually, oh, the reason why this is like that. Huh, I locked my keys in my car one time, okay? So I had to use, all I had was this freaking snake hook on me. So I actually opened up the window, pried this down the window like this and popped the lock with this snake hook. True story. So I'm not saying go break into cars with snake hooks, but it works pretty well. It's like a Slim Jim, but better. And then we got the bigger hook, right? This is the deep, this is the deep hook. So it has just like a deeper curve on it. So you can hold those heavier body snakes. This is great for my rattlesnakes and stuff like that. All my big body snakes. It's a little easier. It's more comfortable for them. I obviously, I can't go grabbing a Kaboon Viper with this skinny little Cobra hook. This is for smaller snakes. It's a little longer. So just to keep it a little bit more safe. This is that deep V or that deep U. Super cool. 
40 inch. This is a great size hook. This is a little bit more close quarters, which has a little bit more control of it. I like the smaller ones, but every now and then, especially when I'm dealing with a really nasty rattlesnake like that, that rattlesnake can strike almost the entire length of this hook. So if I got a four foot rattlesnake, he can strike a good three feet easily. So that is, it's a very, it's a very safe hook for rattlesnakes because I can get in there, grab him, he can strike out and it's still long enough to where he's not gonna be anywhere near my hand. Another one that they got, this one isn't as old, but these little, yep, see, right here, still has the engraving on it, awesome. These little hooks are awesome. They're aluminum, they're super lightweight. This thing weighs nothing. I love these little hooks, especially for my little baby snakes. Bro, nothing beats this little hook. You can't go grab a baby cobra with that with that longer hook or those bigger ones. It just doesn't work out very well. This is the best. Tiny little hook. Just grab that little snake like that. It's perfect. And then we got the Mark O'Shea. Look at this thing. This is the Mark O'Shea hook. I got it because I just love Mark O'Shea. He's a legend, you know? That's somebody that I've looked up to growing up. Super famous herpetologist. Dude knows his stuff. This is a great hook too. Also, heavy body snake. It's a little bit more, a little bit more on the durable side. I don't use this too much for venomous, just because it is a, it, it is a lot heavier, honestly. Like this hook is way heavier than this one, so that's the only reason why I just don't use this too much. I only bust this out for the thick boys. This is pretty much my Gaboon Viper hook. You'll only ever see me using this hook with the Gaboon Vipers, just because it's such a big, thick. Kaboon Viper fits in there perfectly. All right, enough of the old stuff because I've already had those hooks for forever. Use them. I've been using them every day for 20 years. What is Shiva barking at? Coffee's Starbucks here. here. Oh, Starbucks is here. Let's go get that. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff. <sighs> Delicious. All right. Now that I got my coffee, back to what we were doing. Time to open up the box. Another thing I like so much about this company is that the proceeds go towards the Monkey Island Rescue in Greenwood, Missouri. Now, for some stupid reason, I thought, I, I confused the two with Monkey Jungle down here and Monkey Rescue up there. Didn't even put two and two together. I was just in Missouri last week for an entire week, hanging out with my friends, dirt biking, doing wheelies, four-wheeling, shooting shit, blowing it up, having a great time. Totally didn't know that Monkey Rescue was in Missouri. If I knew that, I would have been there. So I'm coming back up there soon. I'm gonna come check you guys out, because it's awesome. Anyways, let's get into this box right here. Booyah, oh, I'm so excited. I haven't even opened up this thing yet. I've had it for a couple days, been waiting to make this video. Let me bust out my handy dandy Leatherman right here. This thing is the shit. Ooh, freshies. Oh man, I'm so excited. Let's see what we got here. Woo! Cool. Woo! Okay, so check this out. This is a pinning stick, all right? Dang, look at their new, these new grips, Midwest tongs, got the phone number, same phone number. Dude, sick. Upgraded these things. Oh man, we got a sweet Cobra on the end. These new, these new hooks are tight. Okay, so. What this is for is instead of uh, a couple of videos I have of pinning some snakes, whether it's cobras to take off, uh, take off their uh, eye caps or whatever, the Medicaid, the Gaboon Viper, there's a few videos where I've had to grab them by the head to do stuff to the snakes. And this comes in very handy because instead of pinning it with the end of the snake hook and grabbing it with the back, grabbing them by the back of the head with this hook. Take the snake like this, you push down. This is, see how this is flexible rubber right here? So you pretty much pinning hook, you pin it with this. So you take the snake, push down on it like that, and then you can grab it by the back of the head. It makes it way safer. Okay, so if the snake does turn around and bite anything, turns around, bites the end of this pinning stick, and everybody's safe and sound. Got another new hook. So I also ordered another deep hook. Ooh, this is what I'm really excited about right here. So I never even had a double hook 
double hooks weren't even a thing back in the day. This is like a newer, newer type of hook, which is awesome. So, the reason for this is maybe I can show you on something. Who wouldn't be that bad to take out? So we got that nice thick, oh my God, look. Tyler Nolan tattoos. Would you look at that? That is so freaking cool. I didn't even look at the other hooks. Did the other hooks say it? I don't even know. No, no, on these ones. I think he did engrave a couple things. That's freaking cool. Thanks, guys. Tyler Nolan tats right on there. So sick. So double hook. So instead of, imagine holding a snake with one hook, okay? Like this. One hook, just like that, puts a lot of pressure on them, you know? It's not very, it's just one hook, kind of uncomfortable on their ribs. Not the, not the greatest feeling. This is a lot more comfortable hook, so it's got two. So now they're being held up by two. Way more comfortable, way more sturdy. Very cool concept, double hook. That, this is a first for me, very cool hook. Let's, uh, let's see what we got going on here. I'm about to, uh, today's cleaning day. Everything is filthy right now. I just got back into town yesterday, so don't mind the mess behind me. Cleaning all the cages right after this. I think Alex is coming over actually and helping me out today because Jake is still quarantining, still. So, double hook, all right? See if we can, uh, see if we can get this real cool around here. Let's see here, come here. So it's definitely a little bit more bulky than a single hook. This is my female albino monocle, who is not really the most, I mean, obviously the snake is handleable, but she's not really that, uh, she doesn't really hood up too much. She's kinda, she's kinda just on like the chill side. But you see how that double hook, how it just supports her a lot better than having a single. It's just a more comfortable hook for the snake, honestly. It's more for the snake than anything. Not much, not so much for the handler. This is all about comfort for the animal. Right here, that double hook. It's not a, it's not a single thing on there. Way more comfortable, right? You like that? You like that, sweetie? My little girl? I've had this snake since she was a little tiny worm. Now she's a big old female. She's giving me, this snake has given me three clutches of eggs before. Produced her a few times. She's awesome. She's probably, snake is what, eight years old now. I've had that thing for eight years. Crazy. All right, so I put her away. Double hook. That's really cool. You'll see this in Chandler's videos all the time. Chandler uses this double hook all the time. That's where I saw it from the first time. I saw Chandler had it and I was like, dude, that hook is pretty awesome. It's definitely a thicker hook. Sick, awesome. Thanks guys, this thing's dope. Oh yes, hell yeah. Look at this. So this, lifesaver. These are tubes. So, another super safe way to handle snakes is with a tube. So like I said before, if a snake has an eye cap or like that Gaboon Viper, those videos that we were making, I should have had these when I was when I was medicating the Gaboon Viper. So they come in all different sizes for all different size snakes. Your little baby snakes, little bigger, little bigger, little bigger, little bigger, little bigger. Keeps on getting bigger, okay? So you get onto this big one, obviously would be for a big Gaboon or something like that. Now the point is with this, should I get a snake out to kind of, uh, to demonstrate? Should I demonstrate this? Let's demonstrate this. So you have a better understanding of why we use these tubes. Let's get that, uh, maybe we'll get the copperhead out. Penny. So the copperhead, let's see. We're probably gonna have to use, I would say, this one for the copperhead, all right? So let's go ahead, get these out. You wanna make sure you use the right size. Because if it's too small, obviously the snake won't go inside of it. But if it's too big, the snake can turn its head around and come back at you, which we don't want. All right, so now that we got the right size tube, let's go in here. I'm gonna use my little, my little snake hook for the little snake. Let's go in here. See, Penny, Penny's already like, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me, Dad? 
my little copper head. I love this little guy. Very cool little thing. So let's do this. So let's grab something to put them on right here. Let's do it like this. Okay, so now, now that we got the snake here, but the musk on this snake is gross. So I like to use the edge of the floor. Put it right here. See that? Snake is going inside the tube, and then once it gets there, boom. Now I can grab him safely, okay? So now, she just musked all over me. Sink so bad. Gross. She is musking all over the place. You can, oh God, it's the smelliest thing in the world. But if I had to do anything to her, if I had to sex this snake, or help with the shed, or medicate it, I would obviously let her crawl to the end and medicate it from the other end. This is the safe way to do it. You see that? I have half quarter of the snake's body inside the inside the tube. There's no way she can reverse on out of here and grab me. Super safe in the tube. Perfect. Right? Cool. All right, so let's get this smelly little guy back in the cage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put her back on the floor like this, let go. Do a little fast, let go. God, oh man. Musk is the worst. Defense mechanism that snakes use, they spray, spray their predators with this super, super gross smelling. It's very bitter to the taste. So if this were to get in your mouth or on your face, it's very unpleasant for animals to experience. So a lot of the times when, a, when another animal's trying to eat a snake, they'll musk, they'll shoot out this gross ass smelling stuff. And then animals don't want anything to do with it. Like I definitely don't want anything to do with that copperhead right now because it is disgusting. Even my whole snake room right now smells terrible. Cantils are the worst, man. Their musk is just foul. Another, another snake that also has foul musk, that indigo snake right there, whoo. Tell you what, I'll tell you what, that snake is really smelly. And that false water. There's a, few, there's a few snakes in here that they're musk. Not all musks are the same. What the heck is this? Oh, we got a shirt? What? Super cool. Look at that. Dang, we got a cobra on the back. Got a little spectacle. Dang, super cool. Let's, uh, Switch this out real quick then. Get rid of that. Boop. Put on this guy. Oh yeah. Nice. Check it out. How's that look? Bomb. Sick. Do it with time. What else we got? Woo, what the heck is this? So this is like a mini tong, it looks like. A little baby snake grabber. Thing grabber. You don't have to just grab animals with it. Wow, that is very cool. So this is their new prototype. That also, oh my God, look, Tyler on tattoos. It says my name right there. Made in USA, baby. So this you can use for all sorts of things. Grabbing things out of the cage because you don't always. You don't always have to clean the cages. Sometimes you just gotta give them new water and stuff. So little little tongs like this. They're nice and gentle too. Like I'm squeezing this thing pretty hard. It is not crunching my finger. So if I had to use a crazy, if I was dealing with a crazy smaller snake, didn't want to hook him or a small rattlesnake that won't stay on a hook. These are great for that because you can apply a little bit of pressure onto the snake's body, hold him, put him into a bucket safely. This is sick. Super small. These are great. I love these guys. Handles really cool. These things are dope. That is a great little tool. Hell yeah. I'm pretty sure these will be on their website shortly if they aren't already. Sick. Man, this is like Christmas. This box is just like never stops. What the heck is this? More clothes? What? Dude, I'm gonna be Midwest out. This is sick. What do we got here? What? Damn, dude. This is freaking cool. Damn. Venomous snake handler. That is freaking cool with fangs and everything. Tongs.com, Midwest Tongs. Dude, 
Why am I even wearing this shirt? What the heck? Ugh. Bro, I'm gonna wear these. I need seven of these so I can wear them every day. I'm just kidding. This is, that's pretty cool. This is dope. Snake, ah, oh, man, very cool. Got another one. Dude, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, Midwest. I really appreciate this package. Fucking awesome. What else we got? More shirts? Dude, I'm, they're decking me out, man. Ah, I feel so bad that I was just up in Missouri. Oh, man, I used to have one of these when I was a kid. Okay, another old product that they've had forever are these five gallon tops. Super dope. I used to have one of these back in the day when I was a kid catching snakes. These are really cool. So, you take a five gallon bucket, okay? You got a little venomous danger sign on here. Throw that on the bucket so everybody knows. But this stuff is great, even for the smaller snakes. I'm gonna set this one up just so I could use it instead of my normal bin. So this is obviously the can that I normally use, which is big, it's bulky, takes up some room. This five gallon bucket doesn't take up much space. Throw it on top of a five gallon bucket. Check it out. It's got keys. It's got a little viewing, a little uh, viewing window right here so you can look inside the bucket, see what the animal is doing, see if it's at the bottom chilling, see if it's up at the top before you open it up. And then it just spins right off. Just like that. Boom. Pretty freaking cool. Red. It says dangerous animals, caution may contain dangerous animals. These things are sick. So anybody out there looking for a sick top for your five gallon bucket, this is where it's at right here. Had one back in the day. That is a great, great thing. There's still more stuff in here. What the heck? This box is just like never ending. Let's see what else we got. Got some snake bags, it says Midwest tongs on them, very cool, and then some stickers, man. Oh, what? Dude! Okay, got some stickers, say dangerous, danger venomous reptiles on them, very cool, I'm gonna throw one of those on the door, a couple for the cages, yeah, that's really cool, man, you put these on your cages, sick, but check this out. Just what you need. Huh? Just what I need? Another knife? You can never have enough knives. Knives are tools. I use them all day, every day for things. Gotta do this, especially this Leatherman. This Leatherman's got every little tool on it. Great. Dude, check this out. It even looks like a little switch. Oh, it is a little switch. That is so freaking cool. Snake skin. Dude says snake handler on it. Bro. That's awesome. Dude, Midwest. Stepping it up, dude. So dope. Look at that little knife, man. Freaking dope. I got a new, got a new carry knife. Man, sick. Got a little switch on there, a little assist. It's really easy to open, even without my finger, you know? I can just boop, middle finger it up. I gotta get to work. I just wanted to open up this box show you guys the tools that I use, the tools that I trust, okay? That's the main thing. With these tools, the whole purpose is, is to not get bit, okay? So you wanna use the most durable, the strongest, the most reliable tools out there, which is Midwest. There is nothing out there. I've even, I've hit up a few, I've had a few people even hit me up on social media and they're like, hey, we wanna make you some snake hooks. I'm not gonna mention any company names, but they just don't pull through the way Midwest does. All right, so that is it, guys. Just wanted to show you guys finally, just do an in-depth video of my tools, why I use them, how I use them, what they're for, you know? You guys don't know these things. I get a lot of questions about it, and that hopefully you have answers. Any more questions you have about this stuff, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. I'll put the links down to everything, to Midwest Tongs, Go on their website, order some products from them. You don't have to have venomous to use snake hooks. If you guys have any snakes with attitudes or even, even just snakes with feeding responses, just to take them out of the cage first and then handle them without a hook, 
non-venomous, not saying handle venomous snakes without a hook. I'm saying for a non-venomous snake with a feeding response, like my indigo snake, I would take my indigo out right now and show you guys what I mean, but he's in shed, so I don't want to mess with him. But yeah, a snake like that, feeding response, hook them out of the cage first. Once they know that you're not feeding them, you're not a threat, they chill out. Like that snake will never bite me outside of the cage. So check them out. Go order some cool supplies. Even that that top of the five gallon bucket is sick. That's that's great right there. I love it. So until next time, stay safe. Dude, shirts? What? It's so sick, dude. I'm I'm just like so overwhelmingly stoked right now. It's like Christmas for me. I gotta get to cleaning cages. There's a lot of poop in here. These glass is filthy, water bowls are, it's just it's a disaster in here. So I'm gonna get to work. I'll see you guys later. Till next time, stay safe. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ask me any questions down below. Tell me what you guys wanna see next. Peace out.